Connect a power adapter to base. The first battery light flashes several times to indicate the power is connected. Place the headset on the cradle of the base. Two magnets installed at both ends of the headset and base cradle help to ensure that middle three metal pins are in good contact. If the headset is placed correctly, the first battery light on the base will blink. When the battery of the headset is fully charged, the battery light on the base stays on continuously. To separate the headset from the headband, align the microphone boom of the headset with the headband. The gray color part of the air hook contains wires, so bend it align with the shape of the ear. Please understand that ear hooks are not 100% satisfactory because every person has different ear sizes and shapes. Using the EHS adapter you received, connect the desk phone and the base of headset as shown this diagram. First connect A. EHS cord and B. Telephone cord. C. Telephone cord. Connect the D. Ring tone sensor cord last. Connect the EHS cord to the EHS adapter and the other end of the base. Connect the long telephone cord to the EHS adapter and the other end to the middle port of base. Connect the short telephone cord to the EHS adapter and the other end to the headset marked port of the desk phone. Finally, connect the ring sensor to the EHS adapter. Let your desk phone generate ringtones continuously and find and attach the sensor to the best location. The EHS adapter recognizes ringtones and turn on the light. Let's check it works. Lift the headset or pressing the call button on the headset will turn on the second light on the base. The light of EHS adapter and the headset button on the desk phone will turn on. You will also hear a dial tone from the headset. When you press the call button on the headset again, to end the call, all three lights turn off. Press the call button on the headset again, to start a call. All three lights come on. If the desk phone is not hooked on or off, or you do not hear a dial tone from the headset, try again with another desk phone. Sometimes this is caused by a problem with the headset port on the desk phone.